the place where I think people should start, and this is both kind of finance and Excel, um, is just with personal budgets. I think it's something that people can really understand. You know, you you control your own budget, you know, kind of no matter how old you are, you start to, at some point you start to learn, you know, I have a certain amount of money and how do I spend it? Uh, and by putting that into a spreadsheet and tracking it, you start to learn the Excel functions a little bit more. You start to understand how a sum function works, how, how just entering the numbers in Excel and adding them up works. Uh, really the very basics in Excel, but then you can go so much further from there. You can start, you know, tracking how much you have in your savings account and then accumulated interest. And then you start to learn kind of time value of money concepts, which are really useful in finance. So I think starting with the personal budget, um, you know, you can go very, very deep on this. You know, I keep a personal finance model that, you know, has different asset allocations for my portfolios and different expected returns. And that's going to be a lot deeper than just kind of tracking your spending in and out each month. But you got to start there. Uh, and that's a great place to build up not only Excel skills, but understanding finance and kind of understanding cash flows, where they go, where they come from, et cetera. So I, I checked a few random models that I've built. And uh, I can give you this statistic that I only use 10 functions to build this whole spreadsheet. So it's not that much to, to learn. It's, uh, so don't be, don't be scared that you have to know all of this. I don't know, there are 500 formulas, I guess, or something like this, and that you have to know all of these this buttons at the ribbon. Uh, it's nearly, nearly, nearly all of the tools can be made using really 10 uh, simple functions. So it's only, it's only like if some uh, min max uh, and some date functions and, and you can do nearly anything. And of course, some X lookup. Books is what I relied on. And then I was, you know, a big, big fan of Phil Jelen. I like, I really, really, uh, you can say, owe my Excel knowledge to him uh, in terms of the lovely books he has written. And, and and at that time also, you know, like in 2012, 13, his forums, I used to go a lot on his forums to ask questions and get answers to the things I needed to do. You know, I was fortunate enough to, um, to have roles like that where you know, really can spend a lot of time in Excel and thinking through what works, what doesn't work, what is good practice, what is not so good practice. Um, and, you know, if you, you're starting out, try to find a job where, where you have the space to do that. And I think a lot of problems with, uh, with young people is that they, Excel is just one of the many things and they never have the space and the time to, to you know, really develop it and make that one of their core skills. It's just something they know enough to get by. Um, so if you can find a job, get into a team where you know, there are good people who will you know, not just show you the tricks, but also does this sort of quality checks to, to give you feedback. Um, I think that's the way to go.